Hey guys, Mike Mu here. This video, I'm gonna share with you my latest grip accessory for the Fuji X100F, featured right here. This is called the Fittest LB-X100F, and I'll have a link down below so you can go ahead and check it out. It ran me about roughly just between 30 and $35, depending on where you live and a shipping and a tax. Uh, it is one of the few that actually, in the price range, um, that actually features uh, the following. It has a nice beefy grip right here. I've had a very similar grip that I had on my Sony RX1 series and I like the way it felt. This one actually works out better because the actual lens barrel is smaller. Um, so it actually fits my hand really well and actually feels a lot more comfortable than the other grip that I've reviewed which is the VKO uh, grip. So this one's actually uh, roughly a little bit cheaper, but it actually features a couple of things. So it's an L-shaped grip, which allows me to have an Arca Swiss mounting plate down here on the, uh, on the left-hand side. So, and it is also removable. So if you just have a little hex wrench, um, you could easily remove that as well if you don't need it throughout, throughout uh, your shooting period. Um, and it has a grip that is also removable. This is the front side grip that you can also remove using hex wrenches uh, down here uh, below just to remove that section if you just want the L-shaped grip. And then of course on the whole bottom is all Arca Swiss. The battery door is fully accessible as well as the SD card. Uh, it does not protrude or intrude upon the opening at all of the battery case or the SD card, which is very nice. And then there's even a little uh, separate tripod mount if you wanted to. Over here, I actually have the spider light that I like to use my, with my X100 and, and other uh, smaller compact mirrorless cameras uh, mounted on here. So you can also do that. It seems to hold uh, pretty well with a standard one quarter inch. Both sides, of course, are Arca Swiss compatible. And I found that there were no compatibility issues with either side, either the portrait or the bottom side. And the bottom one actually runs uh, the full length of, of the whole bottom area. So you can actually shift it all the way left and right real easily uh, if you need to, needed to, or you could just mount it right there wherever the central uh, point for the lens is, the nodal point. Overall, I actually like this very much. I've used it on a couple of shoots out here in San Francisco, and it's actually worked out pretty well. There was only one minor concern with it, and it could be just because when I received it, it was a little bit loose here on the side screw. A simple fix using a tool such as my Leatherman uh, tread bracelet, I was just able to go ahead and tighten that up. So after I did that, I didn't have any other issues. It could have been just uh, was not as tight as it could have been uh, coming from the factory. But overall, I like it a lot. If I had one problem with it, would be that it actually adds fairly substantially to the size of the X100F itself. It makes it so much more feeling more substantial. So it's either something that you like or dislike. If you're looking for the ultimate in portability, uh, obviously adding these dimensions uh, to the X100F, and it looks like about I want to say less than an inch on one on on uh, one side or wherever the uh, maybe about three quarters of an inch is added to at least two two to three dimensions actually on the bottom the left and the right hand side so you have to keep that in mind but the handling feels uh, way more substantial so you have large hands uh, like I do this is definitely something more comfortable and then of course I have the uh, thumbs. I believe the, the thumbs up grip, I keep forgetting the name of it, but it's the LM x 100 f I also did a video on that. Coupled with that and a two, and it feels extremely solid feeling that I typically don't even need to use my Peak Design uh, cufflinks at all. So I usually keep this uh, handy and on the side. The other major issue I have with it is that it maybe it's just me, but it feels like this is quite a bit uh, heavier and weightier. So, uh, you know, being that the whole body is metal alloy to begin with, uh, it already feels, you know, fairly dense. But um, adding this extra whole complete set on here, I think it, it feels like it adds a couple of extra ounces. So it def definitely does not feel as portable as and lightweight as I would like. But I still feel that it's made of aluminum. I think it's a decent compromise. And the very fact that you can remove the bits and pieces that you're not going to use throughout uh, your shooting uh, period, if you feel like you really need those extra weight savings, but you still want the L part or you still want the Arca body mount down here uh, in order to mount in your tripods, makes it 
so far, my favorite choice for adding an external grip and L bracket to your X100F. Okay, so that's it for a quick look at this. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're interested in checking this out, it's gonna be less than, it's gonna be between 30 and $35 here in the United States. I'll have links if it's found in other countries through Amazon, but that's where I found it. And again, mine is called the Fittest LBX100F. It is sold under different brands, but from my um, viewing of all the pictures, it all is the same. It's just a matter of branding. All right, so I hope this video was helpful to you. And, um, and I know this has definitely improved my shooting experience when I need to go out and shoot portraits and, uh, and, and environmental landscapes with my X100F. If you like this video, please like it, share, and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching.